So I'm working on uh, the speedometer driven gear and drive gear, calculating that out so I can put in the correct drive driven gear ratio for the speedometer to be accurate with my current 336 rear end and tires. So I haven't even looked at the tire size, but I know on this transmission I don't have the housing or the bullet and the driven gear. I have the drive gear. You can see in there it's actually a white gear. Now according to all the forms that I look at online it should be either blue or red. Well red white and blue I guess but it's still not red or blue so I don't know what how many teeth this uh, drive gear has for the speedometer. So instead of doing what everybody else recommends and taking the whole tail shaft off just to count the number of gears what you can do with this uh, the housing out of there if you look in there you can see the top of the gear coming around right there so that's the top of the tooth and if you mark it you can see my black mark on there that I made with a sharpie you can count the next teeth as they come around and there that's how you can count the number of teeth that you have on your drive gear just a quick little thought that my my buddy came up with actually uh, he said if you can see it you can count the teeth well I didn't even think about that but just on the top edge there you can count the number of teeth so instead of taking this whole tail shaft off just to count the number of teeth if you have a seven or a nine or something else aftermarket you can just look in there turn the transmission over and you can actually see the number of gears or teeth that you have on your gear and be able to count that so you can calculate what number how many teeth you need on your driven gear for your speedometer. So just a quick tip that'll probably save you quite a bit of time. Okay so I'm calculating the driven gear size I need to have and one thing you need is you need your tire size, your tire diameter. So uh, the site that I'm using, I'll put the link in the description, but basically you put in your your uh, width, your ratio, and your rim size. So P, uh, 225, 70, R15, so 225 is my width, 70 is my ratio of width to height, and 15 would be your rim size or your uh, wheel size. So you need to know your wheel size, you need to know what your rear end gears are, and mine are a 3.36, and then you need to know what your drive gear is, and then that's how you calculate your driven gear. So what I have with my combination that gives me a 17.2 uh, gear that I need, so close enough to 17, that's going to be really, cl really close to spot on for me. So it'll only be off by a couple miles per hour, so I'm good enough with that. So I'm going to put in that 17 gear, and that should be good to go. Okay, so after I calculated what gearing I needed on my driven speedometer gear, went ahead and ordered the new gear on eBay came with this uh, bullet right here uh, that's what they call it, it come, it's the same thing that goes on to a TH350 transmission fits right in there perfect um, you can see this bracket right here is a bit of a custom bracket the one that I think goes on the 350 it's a bit shorter and so it doesn't work so I made a custom one uh, just kinda just a small piece of metal and cut it down to size a little bit more and more to make sure it's fit nice and tight but this uh, you can see the gear right in there it's the brown gear uh, I calculated I needed a 17 this is actually an 18 tooth just because I couldn't find somebody making a 17 that didn't want to charge a ridiculous amount because it's not a standard gear so I ended up going with the 18 it'll be close but not quite perfect but uh, I think I'll only be off by maybe two or three miles per hour once I get up to 60 so that's not a big deal to me at least so uh, there you go it's pretty simple so speedometer should be accurate for me now